It's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. One of my fantastic subscribers and viewers of the channel sent me a message and some comments on YouTube saying Stella Artois have launched the bottle version of their unfiltered lager in Asda. Of all places, Asda. So I went and picked one up. Uh, I picked up a Stella Artois to do a little kind of versus battle, if you like. Um, first thing I want to talk about between the two bottles is here's the, the, the labels. Both green glass bottles. Uh, you can see the slight haze on the Stella Unfiltered compared to the, the clarity, the clear clarity of the Stella Artois Premium Lager Beer. That's the, the original version, if you like, or probably not the original version because... Uh, from where I remember Stella, and it might have changed from previous years, was Stella was always 5.2% ABV. Then it went to 5. Then now it's down to 4.6% ABV. I want to touch on the subject a lot better a little bit later on in the, view, in the review. There's the 4.6% ABV. The other thing I wanted to talk about was price. By this being an unfiltered lager... Theoretically, there's more flavour because they haven't filtered out all of the goodness in the beer like they've done with the other bottle. It's 5% ABV, this one. Now, the reason why I'm talking about the ABV and the kind of the bottles here is because price, price comes into it too. Whether it's a promotional price to sell it on a you know, a, a little bit cheaper to get people to buy it, or whether this is the fixed price. But remarkably, the 5% version comes in at £1.65. The original, or the supposed original, at 4.6% ABV, comes in at £1.95. So 30 pence more money for less ABV. The other thing I quickly wanted to talk about was... Um, I picked two pint glasses up for the review. They're 500s. They were suitable, but one of them's got a widget in. So I've decided to scrap that idea because I don't want a widget being kind of throwing the beer everywhere. They're 660 bottles, so it would have overflown. So I've used, well, I'm about to use, two very European style beer glasses. A German Stein and a Czech Budvar glass so i should be able to get all of the beer in the glass so without further ado then let's get the original open nice paper necks on them i do like that paper neck they've been brewed in the uk at the same brewery that's one thing i did check is it going to be the same brewery How I was able to check, because there's not much online at the moment regarding this new unfiltered, I checked the postcode. So where it's saying here on the back of the bottle, brewed in the UK at AB and Bev, it, it's, it's EC4A1EN. And it's the same for the original Stella. So here's the unfiltered then. Whoa, much more smoke on the bottle opening chuck it into this stein then and you can see the unfiltered i'm gonna give this a little wash round who'd have thought we'd be doing this with stella in the year 2022 treating stella like it's you know rolling it round and treating it with a bit of respect Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now, green glass bottle. I will say, I walked them with my hands, like this, out of Asda's car pack, like this, and because uh, I didn't need a bag, because um, I just bought this stuff, uh, and the sun was shining. So, from from leaving the car, Asda's to my car, which was a, a minute's walk, there's a slight skunkiness. Definitely more on the unfiltered, surprisingly enough. I have already reviewed Stella Artois Unfiltered. Hang on a minute, where are we going now? Yep, that's the original one. I've already reviewed Stella Artois Unfiltered. 
on the perfect draft. So if you want to watch the perfect draft version, feel free. So original Stella Artois, let's get the two glasses up, show them off. Look at the difference in the colour. Or, or same colour, but look at the difference in the haze. Nice carbonation, more carbonation on the unfiltered. Less carbonation, or less of a head, I should say. On the original, I keep calling it original Stella, but it's not original Stella because it's 4.6% ABV. I promise I'm going to talk about that in a moment because I think it's really important. And I think it's the reason why they've brought out the unfiltered version, but we'll get that to, to that in a moment. Let's get the aroma. Little bit of biscuit, little bit of hoppiness coming through. Slightly skunked. This is the unfiltered. I'd say more, more of an aroma, more of a hop aroma. More of a sweet malt aroma coming through. There's definitely more of an aroma on the unfiltered. Right, let's dive into the Stella. I'm going to call it filtered Stella. It's not very nice to be honest. Um, tinny. Quite watery at 4.6% ABV. I, I used to drink Stella at 5.2. It's uh, over carbonated. It tastes a bit. It's not very nice. Absolutely not very nice at all. It's got a horrible kind of astringent bitterness on the back end. It's tinny, it's metallic. Oh, it's awful. Awful. Um, I've been drinking some really good lagers on the Perfect Draft <coughs> recently. I've just finished a Bira del Borgo Lisa lager, which was really good. Um, that That's bordering atrocious, that filtered Stella. Unfiltered version then. Here we go. I bet it's a complete different monster. Fantastic, fantastic. Compared to that, a side-by-side -side drink off. I tell you what's happened here. I'm gonna to touch on the subject now after I give you a few flavor notes. There's a nice sweetness from the malt. It's nicely, it's better, it's, it's a nicer carbonation. It's like hissy and fizzy and like, Attacking your senses almost. It's got a nice bitterness on the back end, more, much more in the way of kind of like Saz hops or or typical kind of Belgium stroke Czech German hops on the go here. Um, it's really good, really really good. I really enjoyed it on the perfect draft, and I'm happy to say that 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 slight skunkiness that I got on the nose, it's not in the taste whatsoever. <clears throat> now, very quickly, skunkiness is when I was talking about walking the beers in the sunshine from Asda's to my car, the sun hitting the bottles, um, it's able to pen penetrate the green glass bottle. And it causes a chemical effect with the hops in the beer. And instead of the hops tasting uh, kind of wonderful and floral and nice and bitter, it, it's, it tastes like, like a skunk, like something coming out the back of a skunk's backside. Um, it, it's, a, it's called Light Strike. Um, it's a phenomenon in, in beer that brewers have been fighting for for years and years and years. The answer, and if you're watching this in Belgium, the answer is to put Stella in brown bottles, which if you buy Stella in Belgium, where it is from, look, well, the Belgian version will be in brown bottles, brewed in the UK, green glass bottles. I was in Belgium a few years ago 
and the Belgians actually laugh at us for drinking Stella in green glass bottles. But I'm happy to say there's no life strike in this, in the taste of this unfiltered beer. It's a much better beer. Cleaner, crisper, more refreshing, 30 pence cheaper. 30 pence cheaper. Now I'm gonna give you my verdict and, and the reason why I think Stella have brought out unfiltered. Basically, it's like anything in life. They've messed about with the original, original Stella so much that I think sales have tanked. Sales have tanked, people are not buying it anymore. It's not the premium beer that people once, kind of many moons ago, thought Stella Artois was. Now it's a bit of a laughing, laughing stock, you know, at 4.6% ABV, it's... It's, it, it's definitely not the same beer, and it tastes atrocious. It tastes atrocious. I think if I bought this for £1.95 in Asda, chilled it down like I have, and, and I maybe bought three bottles to sit in the garden for, for an afternoon, I think I'd be really, really disappointed. And I probably wouldn't end up finishing it. I don't think I could finish a bottle of this Stella Artois 4.6. It's just an awful tasting beer. So sales have tanked and they've gone, my goodness me, what are we going to do? So they've come up with this. It's probably one of the earlier recipes for Stella Artois. They've made it unfiltered. And my goodness me, what a different beer. Don't be surprised if this unfiltered version of Stella overtakes the original Stella Artois, the filtered version, in sales within the first year of this being released. Do not be surprised to see unfiltered being the standard Stella. Because I think if people give it a chance, ex-Stella drinkers give this a chance, they will quickly realise that this is an earlier version and a much better quality version of Stella Artois. It's decent. I've been to the brewery in Leuven. And <clears throat> I drank on the, uh, at, the, at the bar in Leuven at the brewery. And, and I honestly, I said it at the time, Stella Artois at the brewery tastes terrific. It's a terrific beer. This is not far away. This is not far away. So if you're watching this review... Wondering if you want to give Stella Artois a second chance. Try the unfiltered version. You might be pleasantly surprised. I kind of had an inkling because I drank it on the perfect draft. and I, I went through the whole keg in a, in a weekend. It was terrific. Um, so I had an inkling this, this, this was going to be a, a good beer. I was just slightly curious with the green glass bottle. But it's passed. It's passed with flying colours. It's a decent beer. I'm going to give it... I'm going to give you, I'm going to give this, and let's, let's rate this terrible version of Stella. It almost tastes like garbage. It almost tastes like, it's got a, like an almost like that kind of rotten vegetable taste to it. Like, like a slight garbagey taste. It's, it's, it's awful, awful, awful stuff. So the filtered version of Stella for me gets a 2 out of 10. It's terrible. The unfiltered version... It's beautiful. I, I, I'm contemplating... I can't drive anymore because I've drank too much. But I'm contemplating picking some of these up for next weekend if the sun's shining. And sitting in the garden with it. Because it's, it's a damn good pint. I really like that. I really like that. I like that enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. The difference in the two beers couldn't be any more stark. Further away, 2 out of 10 for filtered Stella. 8 out of 10 for unfiltered Stella. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom!
Cheers.